Hey guys, Jay Sini here and welcome to a new episode on the Australian Wealth Channel. And today we are talking about whether Carnival stock is a buy, a hold or a sell. All right, so before we get started, it's really important to make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps to get these videos out to more people so that they can learn more about investing. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at whether Carnival is a buy, a hold, or a sell. Now, Carnival has seen a share price run up over the last couple of weeks for a number of different factors. The economy is starting to look like it's improving, and also on top of that, there's been a bit of a rotation out of big tech. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out some facts and then I'm gonna give you guys my opinion a bit later in the video about whether Carnival is a buy a hold or a sell. So Carnival Cruise Lines is the largest cruising company in the world. They not only own the Carnival brand, but they also own Holland America, uh, Cunard, Princess Cruises, p and Seabourn, as well as a few others. Now this of course has been an insanely rough year uh, for any kind of leisure company for obvious reasons. But let's have a look at some of the stats about Carnival. So Carnival has a market cap of 15.4 billion. So that means the company is valued at that amount of money. Now the latest earnings that we have are from May and they generated $740 million in revenue, which is down 84.7% year over year, which means they're making that much less money compared to the previous year. Their net income in these earnings was negative $4.37 billion, which is a huge loss. Their earnings per share came out at negative $6.07. So let's be honest, we know why these earnings are trash and a lot of this has been completely out of the hands of Carnival. This is of course during a once in a hundred year event and in most normal circumstances, if you saw earnings come out from a company that looked like this, you would completely write them off. But there is of course a little bit more to the story. So Carnival recently raised over $6 billion in debt to help them get through the current crisis. However, something that's worth noting that during this debt raise is the interest rate is incredibly high at around 11%. So this is of course something that does need to be weighed up when you are calculating the share price because this is going to be quite a drain on the future earnings of the company if they're forced to pay back this kind of interest on a debt. So the next metric that I think is a really important one to talk about, especially when you have a company that has as many assets as Carnival does, is the book value. So the book value is the value of the company's assets relative to the market value of the equity. So the market price per share divided by the book value per share gets you the ratio. So generally anything that's under one can be considered a relatively sound investment because it means the value of the company is trading under the value of the assets that the company holds. So the book value of Carnival is 0.47, which is incredibly low, which it means a lot of people are thinking that this company may potentially go bankrupt in the future if it is trading this low. So if a sound investment is under one and Carnival's trading at 0.47, on this metric alone, you would go, absolutely, let's 100% pile in. But of course, there's a lot more to the story than just book value. So this company has a non-existent PE ratio because the company is expected to lose a lot of money and not have any positive earnings at all. In normal economic times, however, the PE ratio of Carnival sits somewhere between 12 and 20 generally. So based on all this information, is Carnival a buy, a hold, or a sell? This decision is based completely on external factors that are outside of the company's control. Will these travel restrictions drag on or will they finish? Will customers want to come back to cruising? These are all questions that need to be answered. Now, personally, I think that there's gonna be no problem with people wanting to return to cruising. We've seen some of the stats that bookings for 2021 are up quite significantly. So I think people are definitely going to want to be traveling and cruising, but will travel restrictions let them? I think that based on the reopening of the economy, we can probably expect that cruises will be going ahead bar some kind of third wave, which I'm not sure at this point whether that is going to happen or not. I would bank on probably not. I think the economy will continue to reopen after this period. 
So the future of Carnival as a company and the company's stock depends completely on its ability uh, to function in a new economy and also the economy returning back to some kind of normal level. In normal economic times, the share price of Carnival sits between $40 and $60 a share in recent history. So is it a buy, a hold or a sell? Personally, I think it's a buy, even with the recent run up of $18 a share. Now look, we might see uh, the share price retreat somewhat, who knows in the short term, but I think over the long term as the economy continues to improve and people start caring less about this thing, I think they're gonna be more likely to go out and they're gonna be more likely to be taking cruises. So of course, when this happens, there's going to be an increase in profitability from Carnival. And as a result, that is going to lead to an increase in their share price also. I think one of the only things that's gonna be really weighing down on Carnival is the amount of debt that they've actually had to take out uh, to make sure that they get through this current situation. Having said that though, uh, Carnival was uh, definitely the best at managing their money and had the least debt load uh, during normal economic times. So I think with the team still at the helm there, over time we'll continue to see their financial position and improve and we can likely see Carnival get back to 40 to $60 a share, which is an increase of over 100% of where the share price is currently. So if you have a positive long-term outlook on the future of cruising, then Carnival at this point is definitely a buy. There is of course a slight risk of bankruptcy still because we do not know whether these travel restrictions will continue. But for me personally, I can't see that happening because Carnival owns so many assets. If it comes close to the point where they might be becoming bankrupt, then it's very easy for Carnival to be selling off uh, some of these assets to be making sure that they pay off that debt load and that will make them a smaller um, and leaner company. So the bankruptcy risk for me is very low and I think there's a lot of value that can uh, potentially be generated from buying into this stock into the future because there is so much nervousness around the sector. So I wanna know what you guys think. Do you think that Carnival is a buy, a hold or a sell? I'd be really interested to know your opinion in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Helps to get these videos out to more people. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later.